okay so welcome to ignite online robotics platform uh, today we are going to discuss about the arduino pro one program where we'll understand about the arduino microcontroller programming uh, first we'll understand about the programming uh, about the microcontrollers and then we'll discuss about the what is arduino actually and uh, how to uh, program it that we will understand so how we will proceed in this uh, uh, online program so you you need to uh, listen uh, complete lecture very carefully and uh, if you have any doubt you can write it down uh, in your notebook and when we will have the uh, skype calling uh, session at that time you can ask that doubts but uh, it, you should not see this as a just a movie and casual you should be very focused on each and every point whatever i am discussing right now so that you can learn more and more okay so let's start with it so don't take it uh, like uh, it's going video is working on its own and i do not to pay any attention you need to pay attention here uh, more and more to learn uh, better way okay if you want to learn okay so uh, let's start with it so first is uh, that is what is programming so let's learn about what is programming so programming basically means instructions given to microcontroller to run the robot or a machine as we desire okay so programming is nothing but instructions so basically like i am giving you the instructions the same way programming is also nothing but instruction which you give to your robot okay so to do your desired work like uh, a teacher like me i am teaching you something or a maths teacher teaching you a plus b equal to something okay so that what he is doing actually he is giving you the instructions and that instruction is working as a uh, programming to your mind okay so it's instruction is nothing but a programming which uh, give you the uh, command to do some work in some particular pattern so like a robot you want to give instruction like move forward for five seconds so that you have given the instruction now that instruction uh, to the robot if you want to give it is not possible to give like you are speaking right now in english or in hindi okay because uh, the robot understand the computer language so you need to do the uh, you need to give the instruction to the robot in a program in a computer language so language may differ in the programming but the basic meaning of programming is instructions robot uh, accept the instruction is a computer language you human accept the uh, instruction in a hindi or english manner so that is the point but the basic meaning of instruction is to do uh, to give the instruction to have the uh, uh, to the microcontroller to run the robot or a machine as a desire work like if we want to uh, make this type of gripper so the microcontroller we have given the, giving the instruction to this gripper to pick and place uh, this material to somewhere else okay so we have given the instruction now this robot is following that so what we did in this we did the programming of this robot to do some work so that is programming now what is microcontroller so microcontroller is a integrated circuit to do specific task so it is an integrated circuit integrated means a combination of circuit so that is the next uh, point we had discussed so it is used to specific task like here uh, one task is shown like led patterns is working like one led is on then second then third then fourth then fifth then sixth so this this type of led pattern we require this is our task so this task is done in the uh, controller okay the same way uh, other task if you want the specific task you can give to the uh, microcontroller to do so basically microcontroller is used to do a, some specific task uh, for your project now here integrated means what integrated means combination of circuits means multiple circuits you have combined and you may you made a one complete circuit which is used to do your work so this type of microcontrollers are dozens of microcontroller available in market but we are going to learn arduino microcontroller so dozens of microcontroller at my we are atx mega 8 mega 3 to 8 p pic 8051 so many uh, uh, available uh, microcontrollers are there so but we are going to use uh, arduino microcontroller here
so arduino microcontroller arduino microcontroller is very famous in robotics because its language is very easy to understand and with the help of arduino we can make uh, many real time robotics projects so its language is very easy it's like a simple english language and it's not like a, a completely simple english language we need to follow the command and it's, it's a language structure but if you read some codes uh, that code will give you the interface like it's like a english language okay so by by reading the word you can understand the the function of that command that way so you will learn it more in deep uh, as you progress uh, but its language is very easy to understand and very easy to learn and that is the reason uh, school kids are doing very good in this arduino programming and the second thing is with the help of arduino you can make a many types of pro uh, many types of projects your if you are having uh, some science projects upcoming you can use the arduino and you can make that uh, robotics projects with the help of arduino so uh, easy to understand or real time projects are like robotic car you if you want to make so this robotic car which is mobile controlled you can make okay and the second like a traffic light you want to design some traffic light that is also possible with the help of arduino microcontroller and many more projects are there uh, which you can make with the help of arduino now let's understand about the uh, arduino microcontroller so uh, to understand the arduino microcontroller we need to know uh, the complete uh, um, that uh, circuit of that arduino that is the chip of that arduino what is inside that chip uh, each and every pin you should know so we will discuss each and every pin in this so first we will discuss the digital pins so we have the total 14 digital pins i am showing you the cursor you can see the cursor this is zero from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so this 14 0 to 13 means 14 pins you have this 14 pins are the digital pins okay digital pins means you can give the uh, signal digital signal input output pins digital input output pins means you can give the digital signal as an input or you can get the output also digital now what is digital here and what is analog two points here we need to discuss that we will discuss in a further uh, uh, course that is what is a digital signal or what is analog signal so uh, we will discuss in a brief like digital signal is a signal which is having a, a value like 0 or 1 or 0 or 5 volt that you will see in a further uh, uh sessions further uh, uh, discussion that what is digital that is if you get the zero if you want to give as an input like zero or five volt or uh, arduino is working on a five volt so five volt then that is digital if you want to give 1.5 2.5 the bit in between value zero or five in between value if you want to give as an input then that is not possible with the digital pins same way if you want to get output get some signal from the arduino to run led or motor or something then that signal you will get only 0 or 5 volt then no signal you can get in between like 1.5 3.5 volt in this digital means so that is the result from 0 to 5 so uh now during the slides there may be the point like the more uh discussion is there so uh try to uh, listen the discussion more properly and if you are not, if you are not able to uh, listen it properly uh, go back and again listen it and if you have again the doubt after that also you write it down write it down like i am not able to understand digital signal or what is digital signal what is digital input output that you write it down so that we can discuss in our skype session then there is a digital ground ground is nothing but a negative like battery is having two terminals positive and negative so this is a ground is a negative then you have the this reset pin reset pins means if you have uh, run a program you have the uploaded a program in this controller and if you want to start from the zero from the starting if the program is running but you want to, you want to start from starting then you need to press the reset then the program will again start from the zero and it will run then uh, the other pins are like this serial serial out and serial it, uh, in is for the wireless communication that bluetooth module is used and that communication is done through the serial in out 
so that is uh, not useful right now for us same way in circuit serial program is for the programming of in circuits that is this chip if you want to program so that is for that programming that is on not that is also not useful right now then at mega 328 a microcontroller that is the microcontroller uh, which is used in arduino so arduino is using at mega 328 series okay uh, microcontroller so this is the chip this is the main uh, chip which is which is working as a controller the other other pins which we are showing seeing uh, watching here are all the supportive uh, working with this at mega 328 okay so this are not useful if this chip is not there okay because this is the main heart of this microcontroller then the next side of like what we are zooming the uh, controller this is the complete controller so this is the this is the complete controller first we have zoomed this now we are going to this okay the the below part this is the top part now the below part now below part this is the microcontroller that we have discussed now we have the six analog pins from a0 to a5 a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 now this is the analog pins analog pins that is again input it is not output so analog input pins so if you want to give input from 0 to 5 in between some value like you want to give input of 1.5 2.5 3.5 volt then uh, that input can be read by the arduino with the help of this pin a0 to a5 so that you can give directly then uh, the next point is uh, this uh, on this pins in that the, the first pin is a reset pin reset pins again this button is like here reset pin will work when you give 5 volt to this reset pin the program will start from the zero then this is a 3.3 volt power pin so if you need 3.3 volt in your project then you can use this this pin as a battery positive okay if you have a battery which is having positive negative so this 3.3 pin this pin is acting as a positive and the ground is will act as a negative same with 5 volt power pin so this pin will act as a 5 volt battery positive and this is negative so we have the two two ground here so first ground you can use for the 5 volt second ground you can use for the 3.3 volt then we in we in actually used to power this arduino uh so this arduino is powered by the voltage like 5 volt 12 volt 9 volt you can give to this vin so from 5 to 12 you can give any voltage to vin and the arduino will run here so you can apply the voltage here v in uh, and ground so that the arduino will power up so if you want to power up the arduino without laptop and anything and if you have the battery of 9 volt you can directly give 9 volt positive to win ground to this arduino will get on so this way uh, this are the pins which is used then this is the external power supply so here we apply the external power supply in the sense if we are not using v in and we want to power up this arduino then external this jack pin we can use to power up same way the usb pin so usb plug means uh, to upload the program we use this so with the computer with a laptop and uh, you can connect the usb and the second other part you can connect to this usb plug so that way we can upload the program so this is the introduction the understanding of the complete microcontroller chip so where we understand about the digital pins and about the analog pins about the power pins and about the input how how to uh, power the arduino with the three uh, alternates like voltage in external power supply and usb plug now that we understood very clearly if you have any doubt in this please note it down and we will discuss it now two points that we have to we want to discuss is what is analog and what is digital so what is analog so analog is a any continuous signal for which the time varying feature of a signal is represent of representation of some other time varying quantity what is the meaning of this so the meaning is very simple here it's mean that uh, the analog well and an analog signal are, are the signal whose value is continuously changing and that value is not changing with the steps so it's not like from 0 it will directly reach to 1 it will Uh, start from zero to point one, point two, point three, point four, and then it will reach to one. Okay, so it's like um, our uh, uh, watch, the hand watch, which is having the hands, not the digits. 
so that hands are actually uh, reaching all the points from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 so it's not a st uh, stepwise increment it's a continuous increment so the value is continuously changing and that value is covering all the values okay so this concept may may not be clear right now so if you are not clear with this analog signal you can discuss with me in a skype call same way digital signal means the signal which is having a stepwise value increments it's like from if you have a right now zero that uh, directly it will become one and if you have a one it will directly become zero so it's like here it is shown in a graph like zero then one one means five volt again zero again five again zero again five again zero again five that way it will work so now summary what we have discussed let discuss it again summary so number of digital pins in the arduino so what are the digital pins in the arduino 14 0 to 13 that is digital pins what are the analog pins so 6 0 to 5 a 0 to a 5 then uh, the ground pins so three ground pins we have one is the digital ground and two is the normal grounds then power pins we have two power pins 3.3 voltage power pin and 5 volt power pin so this pin we can be used as a battery then the uh, number of ways we can power up the arduino so three we have so like a usb plug and uh, external power supply and the voltage chain so summary of this arduino if we uh, discuss this uh, we have discussed how arduino is working uh, what are the uh, uh, the uh, pin diagram what are the interest uh, the pins number of pins analog digital pins that we have discussed now uh, how to do the programming so let that we have to uh, now we want to discuss so arduino can be programmed with the many software in this level we are going to learn tinkercad software to program the arduino so we are going to uh, understand what is tinkercad software and how we can use to program so to use the tinkercad you you need to go to this website www.tinkercad.com and as you reach to this uh, uh, this window will come and in that you need to press join now so this arrow is highlighted right now so as you press join now the student join class that will uh, tab you have to press so as you press this this window will come so here you need to type your class code that class code is given to you in your message so that you can type from us uh, we have sent you the class code and that you have no, you need to need to write here then uh, here you need to write the nickname what is your nickname which we have sent you on your message so that you have to write here the the program name will come like here basics of robotronics is written same way when you uh, come to this window you will get the arduino pro one then this window will come as you write uh, nickname and that's me you uh, when you click and then this window will come as you receive reach to this press the circuit button here this is highlighted press this circuit button after reaching to this the two option you have the highlighted portion is try this circuit that also you can click or you can click to the create new circuit okay so the both option will be okay and try new try circuits you will get one dummy circuit that you have to delete it and then you can make and the second option is create a new circuit where you get the blank screen and there we can create the circuit so let's discuss both the option now uh, let's discuss discuss it on the web page so this is the uh, the web page view now circuit so uh, we reached here like uh, uh, we have discussed in that so uh, let's create a new you can go with this also if you go with this uh, try circuit then uh, you will get this uh, dummy and the, the demo circuit and that you can delete and then make the new circuit uh, but what we are doing is we are going back if you want to go back click the thing this logo okay tinker cat then you you will reach to this view again now create a new circuit so when you create a new circuit uh, you can give the name also here so it's like uh, here epic snicket is written with that you can write your like uh, uh, the circuit one or the arduino circuit one okay 
uh, that way you can create your Arduino circuit one now uh, this is the area where you can make your circuit and these are the component which you can use to make the circuit okay so what we are going to do here is what we are going to do we are going to have the Arduino first in this so I got this Arduino which we have discussed I, I can give the name Arduino okay so any the any name you can give now uh, this is the Arduino which we have uh, which we are going to use so same 0 to 13 is the pin a0 to a5 is the analog is a power pin ground v in 2 3 uh, method to power up the Arduino a reset pin we have okay so everything is same which we have discussed now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to learn the programming of this Arduino okay so uh, to do the programming we need to understand its command so what we are doing is we are taking one project so with the help of project you, you will understand how to develop the program okay so what we want to do is we want to make the LED on off a single project to make the LED on off okay so here this is the LED sorry uh, that I have to specify the 13 number this is the 13 number uh, D13 it is highlighted so the 13 number here uh, there is an inbuilt LED in the Arduino inbuilt LED means LED is connected to 13 here yeah. okay so if I give the signal if I do the program such that the 13 gets high so this LED pin will gets on high means 5 volt here you will get on the 13 number pin okay so if you are uh, like uh, if you are thinking uh, the lecture is going fast or you are not getting something you can write it down and you can discuss with me before proceeding further okay so uh, this is the Arduino these are the digital pins so what we want is we want to make the LED or not so we are not connecting right now any LED or, or anything here because we have one LED on the Arduino itself that is L L it is written now this is the LED so we are going now in the coding mode so this is the code when I click on here this coding language directly pop up here and one code is written here that is set inbuilt LED inbuilt LED the first here so set inbuilt LED high inbuilt means this 30 number high means on wait for one second means uh, uh, it's a for one second it will remain on wait for that then built-in LED off low low means off wait for one second so do on for one second off for one second that is the programming okay that we did the program now uh, from where you you can get so this is the simple programming this is the example of this LED or not now I am deleting this so how to delete this pick this like this click on the this and uh, uh, remain pressed on the you can press that key that is the left side key continuously and drag it to the dustbin when you come near to dustbin dustbin will get on and you can leave it now take here all are the commands are there there are many commands but we are going to learn right now only LED on off so this set LED built in LED built in LED means LED which is inside the Arduino this one L1 which is connected to 13 set built in LED to high now wait wait from where you will get control so there are many uh, blocks group of blocks are there so we'll go to control so here's the wait so we are not discussing everything we are now right now discussing what we require so built in LED wait for one second built in LED again take it and uh, wait for uh, the low we will give, uh, give the low and again wait for one second so on for one second off for one second okay now let's do the simulation this is called the start simulation start simulation means upload this program and run it that is the meaning of start simulation now start as you start that is in uploading so this plug is in and uploaded the program now this LED is on for one second off for one second on for one second off for one second now as you as you see is a one second so it is a one 
now if you convert it into 2 so it's 2 okay now I am again simulating so plugged in and now it will gets on for 2 seconds off for 2 seconds on for 2 seconds off for 2 seconds okay so that way you can change the time and you can make this LED on and off for different times so this is a very simple program we have learned now we will go to the complexity and uh, the connections okay for the next session this is clear now you can uh, try this by yourself on the web page by going to the web page and uh, login it and uh, uh, typing the class code and nickname then you will get this follow the step like in a video and then you can do this on off after completion of this on off please update me that i have completed the session one then we'll go to the session two thank you